Thank you, Steve. Well, in his new bombshell book, Duty, former Defense Secretary Robert Gates says, quote, the president doesn't believe in his own strategy and doesn't consider the war to be his. For him, it's all about getting out. And Gates alleges former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's opposition to the 2007 troop surge in Iraq was politically motivated. So what do these startling re revelations say about our military and national security? We are going to ask right now CEO for Concerned Veterans for America, Captain Pete Hegseth. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, frustrating information that's coming out of this book, so we hear. W what was your initial reaction when you heard about Gates' comments? Well, it, it's inf they're infuriating, absolutely. To see the political nature of decisions being made in the White House when we have warriors losing their lives on the battlefield. Unfortunately, though, they confirmed the worst fears many of us already had, that for this president and this White House, it was never about finishing the war in Afghanistan properly. It was about ending it and getting out as quickly as possible. That's what it means when you, when you surge and then you tell the enemy when you're going to leave at the same time and set a deadline. What does that's, that not say? A, that's not about doing everything necessary to finish properly. It's about how can we extricate and leave as quickly as possible, which confirms what Gates says. That for this president, it was about the exits from day one, and he never fully believed in the strategy that he sent men and women to go fight and die for. So there are a lot of civilians fired up about this, but what does it say to you? I mean, you fought. Yeah. You're there. Your buddies were there. P lives have been lost. What does it say to our troops who lay down their lives willingly and sacrifice for these purposes in which now we're hearing, well, are not backed by the commander in chief? Yeah. Gary? It, it, what it says to me is we've got a commander in chief who supports the troops, but not their mission. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Mr. President. That's not possible when you're the commander in chief. If you want to be a politician or a pundit and walk around and say, well, I support the troops, but not the mission, not the commander in chief. Your job is to support that warfighter and, and then give them a mission and a job to be successful. Eisenhower sent, he wasn't the president at the time, but we sent waves in Normandy Beach knowing we would lose lives. But in service of a mission we believe to be just and possible and accomplishable, this president seemed to say, I'm going to send a wave of 30,000 guys into Afghanistan. Even though I don't fundamentally believe it's going to affect change, that to me is a damn shame. What is next? And ultimately, is the information coming out of Gates's words, will this help? Is there time to actually do something? Or is this an administration that is just going to continue to separate themselves, commander in chief here, president over here? Well, I think it's going, to conti it's going to continue to create a wedge in many ways between the military perception and this administration. And that's unfortunate because we still do have troops in harm's way. And we've got a lot of threats around the world that need to be addressed. Uh, so it, but there's going to be po more political fallout. We didn't even talk about Hillary Clinton and the fact that she said that her opposition to the Iraq surge was all about politics, all about domestic politics. What worse from someone who might want to be the next commander in chief? So we look down the horizon and we say, are we going to have more of this? What we need is a renewal of that trust. A commander in chief who's going to walk in and say, I've got your back because it's the best interest of this country and our national security objectives, not because I'm going to be worried about a poll or politics. Right. The message that is being sent to our troops, a, a harsh one, yeah. I think, right now. Captain, thanks Thank for you, being Elizabeth. with us today. Coming up, you haven't.